Robin Hood Radio presents the commentary of Don Morrison. Don is a former editor at Time Magazine. He's an author, lecturer, and member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. We have faced all sorts of shortages during the COVID pandemic. First toilet paper and ventilators, now lumber and semiconductors. But these are nothing compared to what's next. An acute crisis of pigs. Yes, brace yourselves for the pork apocalypse. In recent years, more than a dozen states have imposed tougher rules on pork producers. You see, most pigs in the U.S. are raised industrially, in cages with barely enough room to turn around. Animal rights activists have been lobbying, successfully, for more space and more humane conditions generally. Now there's a new wrinkle. Starting in January, California and Massachusetts will ban not just the production, but also the sale of pork products from any processor anywhere that doesn't meet the new space requirements. Together, those two states account for nearly 20% of U.S. pork consumption. That means the big producers, mostly in the South and Midwest, will almost certainly be forced to comply. Which, the pork industry says, will create hardship, shortages, and porkflation. The American Farm Bureau Federation warns that a pound of bacon could go from about $6 to nearly 10 if you can find one. So what? Bacon's hardly the healthiest food around, and meat production is almost an environmental disaster. Though some of the new rules will also affect chickens, there are alternatives, like seafood, pasta, lentils, veggies, impossible burgers. On the other hand, people do like their pork chops, pork loins, pork ribs, and yes, bacon. Pork has less fat and fewer calories than beef for many cuts, and raising pigs is easier on the planet than, say, cows. Of course, nobody has asked the pigs about this. Research indicates that porkers are unusually intelligent, caring animals, up there with dogs and chimps, which we humans don't eat. Pigs are also creatures we love to anthropomorphize. You know, Porky Pig, Miss Piggy, Babe, uh, Piglet from Winnie the Pooh, also Wilbur from E.B. White's classic kids' novel, Charlotte's Web, whose ending I dare you to read without sniffling. So, I'm with the pigs. Nearly all of them are raised for our gustatory pleasure, so we owe them at least some gratitude, some small measure of humaneness. The greatness of a nation, Mahatma Gandhi said, can be judged by the way it treats its animals. Gandhi, not coincidentally, was a vegetarian. I'm Don Morrison. Don Morrison is an author and editor. He's taught at universities in the United States, Europe, and Asia. He's the European editor of the British magazine Port and a member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. He lives in Paris, Miami, and in Berkshire County. <music>